and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. Now, this one, we've got some B-Class cars. It was open B-Class, however, the vehicle that you built had to start in B-Class. So that meant everyone has been a little bit limited in what you can do in terms of upgrade. Sure, you could aim, you could start off with a car that's quite low in B-Class, but you're still going to be a smidge limited in what you can do with the vehicle. I've gone with an R32 Golf because I don't think I've already used one of these before. Certainly not as a B-Class car. I don't really know. I don't really know if it's going to be any good around some of these circuits. It It's all-wheel drive. I've basically made the tyre width maximum and shoved a whole load of power in it and I'm hoping for the best. Um, fingers crossed, really. I think it's about 300... And, how much power does it have? Uh, 300 and something horsepower, which is quite a good chunk of power. Uh, the all-wheel drive shall hopefully help it when we go off-road, because as I said, it's all its standard tyres, which aren't amazing. Uh, we've got a Corvette giving us a push uh, on the way down the hill. Oh, the Mura doesn't quite have the grip. through. I think it actually doesn't drive too badly. I was kind of expecting it to feel a little faster accelerating and handle a little worse. But I guess I'll take it. Oh, take it as is. I mean, it's, it might not feel amazing through the corners by virtue of the fact that it is quite heavy. There's no weight reduction being able to get into the vehicle. Uh, points wise, it's looking quite good for us. I know that Scirocco behind us is mighty, mighty quick. I've raced that car before. I know that thing is good. It's not quite got the top end of the likes of me and the Lambo here. I might have to be rear gunner in this by the looks of it. DS3 is pretty good shout uh, as far as vehicles are. To be fair, the front-wheel drive cars are quick in this game, certainly in B-Class. Front-wheel drives can be very, very quick indeed. Uh, so yeah, we may have to be a rear gunner for a Lambo uh, around here. Oh, hello, Bin. <laughs> we'll just kick that one out of the way. It's fine. Don't worry about that. Uh, oh, don't want to hit the railing if you can help it. If you want to be brave and dived, I hate taking the dive to the inside line and avoid the railing. Uh, through there. It's marginally quicker, I think, if you get it spot on, but so easy to miss it and, and make a mess with it. Oh, that was a terrible line through there. Yes, let the blue cars fight behind us. Well, the blue cars that are actually both red behind us, but never mind. Uh, don't worry about that too much. Uh, the blue team machines, let them fight one another behind us. Oh, that's a little bit too much understeer for me. Uh, it's fine. It's all good. We're on to the back straight now. <laughs> I know it's, it's always going to be scary because I know I'm going to look behind as we come out of a corner and I know that Scirocco is going to be catching. I know the DS3 is going to be catching to an extent as well. I mean, the Mura's kind of got a similar case in this. I'm kind of the middle ground here. The cars behind are both better handling, but I'm quicker than in a straight line. I'm better handling than the Lambo, but that outdrags me. I mean, I feel like I might almost be able to catch the Lambo, but if I try and pass it, I'm going to... I almost don't want to try and pass it in as far as it's going to mess up the team. We're going to have a big dive. We're both going to be slow and the cars behind are going to get us, which we don't want. Uh, so unless there's a really... Uh, unless the Lambo makes a mistake and is a really straightforward pass, it might have to be a rear gunner uh, unless it's... Uh, oh, God, we were literally right on the bumper through here, but it just, it's always going to have to accelerate me. So it would have to be a very, very big dive somewhere and I don't want to risk crashing into my teammate. Oh, I'm still doing that like a muppet. Uh, can we get a good run onto this back straight? We can. We don't quite have the run there. I'm impressed with this car so far. The Scirocco and DS3 are still having a fight uh, behind us. I mean, they get closer and closer throughout the lap, and then we pull away once we get to uh, this sort of section. Third gear? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Got a couple more times around. And we have got a decent points lead, but we can't really afford to mess up the 1 2. In all, of, in all of this. We really don't want to mess up that uh, that one too. Oh, okay, the mirror avoids the rail. This is actually really evenly matched between a whole host of different cars because no one's really going anywhere in this race. I catch all the way through this first section and then once we come out of this corner, this is where the mirror is stronger. We pull away from the cars behind all the way through that first section and they reel us back in through this next couple of bits. Oh, no, 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 no. Understeery, understeery Volkswagen. Stay out of the wall. Well, okay, there's a little bit of a bump. It's fine. And then understeery, understeery Volkswagen again. <laughs> Come on. We are on to the back straight. The DS3 is right there. And then we're going to scarper off into the distance. And we've got a good mix of drive lines. We have rear-wheel drive leading, all-wheel drive second, and front-wheel drive in third and fourth. That DS3 is actually pretty quick. That has uh, caught us and is maybe going to have a look for a pass on this final lap. We may have to be doing some defensive work by the end of this one. Uh, we'll straight line our way through there as best we can. Yeah, we can just 
pull on the cars behind through that little section. The golf is good there. Oh, don't end up in the don't end up in the sticky out bit of wall. If you brush the wall, it's not the end of the world. But if the sticky out bit of wall, you get that, you're in a lot of trouble. PS3 is definitely closer than I would like it to be here. Oh, I hit the I hit the grass. I've hit the grass, and then I hit the street furniture. Third is not what we wanted up there. Yeah, I bobbled the grass just enough to really upset the golf. Although the DS3 made a mistake as well. I was about to say, I don't know where that, why that wasn't overtaking us. The DS3 must have made either a very similar mistake or something else had gone on. The Scirocco has a dive, but it won't outrun me down this back straight here. Oh, and here comes the DS3 as well. It's a big battle over second place now. <laughs> DS3 is to the outside at the final corner. Oh, we can't stop. I can't get it stopped. We have actually ended up squeezing the Citroen a little bit wide. In all of that, I apologise. It's not, not intentional. We should last, I'm trying to be the last of the late breakers. It, it, it stopped to make the corner, but the DS3 was always going to be stuck on that outside line. Oh, yes. Yeah, just a tiny little mistake. Just turned a little bit too soon, and it made a big old mess of things. But I presume the Citroen must have done a similar... What other DS3? Must have done a similar thing to have not immediately come flying past me. Oh, that was a good race. A yeah, scruffy final lap from me. Um, very evenly matched between those top four. Really, really evenly matched between that lot. I think this might be quite interesting, I have to say. Either way, we take round one. So, we head off-road next. The humble side scramble. I'm curious as to whether there's going to be anybody on rally tyres. You see, in this kind of class, especially with the restrictions on the vehicles, being that they have to start in B-Class, if you do put rally tyres on your vehicle, if you can, if many of these vehicles won't have a PI to get away with it, if you do, you don't have very many other upgrades. So I, I don't think we're going to see many vehicles on the rally tyres. Of course, I do have the advantage, one of the advantages, being all-wheel drive, which means if we're all on similar sort of compound of tyres, it is going to be a bit nicer. Although I'm not the only all-wheel drive car in the field. We've got the RS2s about... Um, there may be some other, uh, probably not too many conversions, to be honest, uh, with this one, uh, owing to, again, the restrictions in terms of your starting car. Uh, the R32 does seem good so far. We've got the Audi, got both the Audis, in fact, here. Uh, standard tyres are not too bad on the dirt, so... Oh, so I'm going to have a little look at the inside. Most cars are probably going to be running standard tyres, or fairly similar. I mean, I've had a fantastic start. The red team cars elsewhere not enjoying quite as much. Like the Mira, for example, may struggle more around this circuit than it did on the on the tarmac. Same we said for our Corvette. The Quartz, the big old regalia, no idea how that's going to fare. I mean, it does depend on how many have got two-wheel drive and so on. Glisk is doing incredibly well with that Scirocco at the moment. <laughs> I know that's front-wheel drive. Uh, that is doing a wonderful job. As I said, I know that car's quick. We've raced it before. It's a brutally quick machine in uh, in B class, but I mean, all I can do at the moment is run. All I can do is just get as far away as I can in the Gulf and try and make sure I get the victory. Really, oh, there we go. Around the hairpin we head. Ah, the DS3 is now up a position into second. That could be on rally tyres. That might be one of the few vehicles that could be in this field. I think that starts off at very low B class. I might be wrong though. Uh, I guess we'll find out if it comes soaring around the corner. I don't. Um, uh, the fact that we're pulling away suggests it's probably not. Uh, points wise, still not looking great for us here, which is quite the shame. Uh, well, at the end of the day, with the way these team adventures work, there are two off road rounds and, two, and three tarmac rounds, sorry. So if you win all the tarmac rounds, you are going to win the adventure. I mean, we'd like to have cars that can win in all the different rounds, but uh, it's important that we've got some good tarmac cars. It does look like we're definitely going to have a struggle on the on the dirt. Uh, we are now starting to pull away, certainly from third place. That Scirocco is, is falling back. Oh, that is a horrible jump for me. We almost had a big twitch on the landing. The DS3 is caught a little bit, mostly because I had a terrible final sector. Uh, got a couple more laps to go around this fiddly so I mean, this is one of the nastier uh, rally circuits that we come to with one of the lowest speed one of the most technical uh, rally circuits you get on horizon or certainly game made circuits as much as i love the course creator you can't really use it for these it's a bit i say it's a bit pants <laughs> the inability to put walls or custom style all of that doesn't really make it work for this kind of thing um so we have to use the 
the basic game circuits, and well, this is probably the nastiest of the dirt circuits. It's pure dirt, it's quite slow, uh, you've got some nasty technical corners, and this, this final turn here is actually quite a nasty one as well. You've got that sort of jumping, you've got to get, get the car set up for the turn. The DS3 is doing a great job of clinging on at the moment to the back of the Golf. He's not quite putting me under threat, but I can't afford to make a mistake here. Uh, we certainly run clear of that uh, Scirocco. Yeah, us two have kind of wandered away at the front. The Scirocco is under threat from the big old Regalia. It'd be nice if we could get past, but it's not going to, I don't think, quite give us the points that we would need here. We're almost lapping one of our cars. <laughs> That's how well it's going back there for them. Uh, <laughs> Again, because this is such a specialised track, if you have a car that doesn't suit this circuit, it really doesn't suit this circuit, and lapping is not uncommon for uh, a field like... Well, if you have a very good car around one of this this circuit, yeah, lapping is not uncommon. We're not quite going to lap anybody this time out. The Golf is going to take victory in race number two. I was hoping this was going to be a good circuit for the car, and certainly it hasn't disappointed there. Oh, the Regalia dropped down to sixth at the end. Something must have gone on. Uh, well, my car is very good around there. DS3, the only thing we're really able to, to keep up to give it trouble. Um, yeah, the rest of my team, not not quite. Not quite going to score the points. That's okay. There's still some more tarmac rounds to come. So, our next race, we hint it's with the Broadway Village Circuit. I'm hoping the golf should be fairly good around this track and we have got a nice spot on the grid as well we know the car's quite fast starting uh, we'll be on the be on the second row we've also got that Scirocco and the DS3 are quite a long way up the field we've got Amira hopefully that's going to work around this track the Broadway there is a, a longish straight there's also some kind of stop start sections where the golf is likely to be hopefully hopefully fairly good if we can get past the Audi down towards turn one that would be really really helpful because the RS2 also all-wheel drive also likely to be quite good off the line the mirror bogs down slightly um, but I'm hoping the power of that is going to kick in we can try and make some sneaky advantages while we are here in the in the ghost mode we'll launch away from the uh, front wheel drive in fact they've dropped a little bit further down the Scirocco, <laughs> the Scirocco we know is going to be super super quick through these corners we've got to worry a little bit about that one but this is as far as starts go this is pretty damn good uh, for us we've got what we wanted we've got the mirror out in front i can kind of be a little bit of a rear gunner at this uh, particular moment in time let the rest of the field uh, fight amongst themselves and uh, hopefully there's going to be enough for us try not to crash into your teammates through the braking zone the mirror actually struggling a little bit for grip we get, <laughs> we get a good run here now we don't want to fight too much with our teammates if we can help it uh, the scirocco's up to third uh, we'll have a look at the inside of the mirror that uh, we do get the pass completed and minimal amount of time lost in that one. It's always difficult, especially when you've got a good start like this where you want to try and run away sort of one, two. You don't want to get held up by a team. I've actually pulled quite a big gap from that uh, Lamborghini getting a much better run out of that final corner. Uh, we'll get this <laughs> quite an understeery car. <laughs> it's the goal. It's, uh, I mean, it's just the standard tyres. Standard tyres. They are as big as they can go on this, but it's still going to be a little bit understeery. The Mura is struggling a little bit for grip as well. That uh, Scirocco is a concern. That uh, Scirocco has got some crazy, crazy grip through these corners though it's still in uh, still in third at the moment if the Mura can hold it up you know, the Mura might be playing rear gunner in this one actually the longer the Mura can kind of hold it up the better chance I have through all of this this time we get stopped not too wide oh god the Scirocco's there <laughs> the Lambo's there the S3's there the Quartz is actually the Regalia's doing quite well around this so we know the Regalia has its moments of being quite far difficult to build sometimes but can be quick in certain circumstances we're at the final corner once again here uh, Points-wise, is looking good. Ah, the mirror's got passed. Oh dear, the, the fast front-wheel drive squad is here to, well, probably give us some grip. It might be maximum defending from the Golf in all of this one. May I say that's okay? I've done that one before. It's always uh, it's difficult with a, with a defender. You've got to be 100 percent perfect, and that wasn't. Don't clonk the fence. Just, you lose momentum if you clonk the fence through there. Like I'm trying to turn in a little bit earlier because I know the car's naturally going to understeer a bit wide. So. I've got to be a smidge careful, DS3 gets a really, really good run. I've got to try and stop it from being able to get to the inside, and indeed it can't quite at the moment. We run a bit wide, everything's run a bit wide, we'll move across. But inside, just about get the car stopped. The DS3 is looking every which way it can. The Mira's back involved. The Scirocco's got past the DS, that's good news for me. Again, if they can fight one another, it, should, it buys you a little bit of breathing space. It might only be for a corner, but that's sometimes all you need around the final turn once again. Uh, as we head towards the start. I think we've got a good, we get a good run out of that final, uh, final quarter. We can build a little bit of a gap 
it's helpful they're fighting the Muras uh, up into third again. Oh, come on, Golf. I've got to just not make any silly mistakes like that one. Again, turning it a little bit too soon and clonking out the fence. This time, we only a little brush on the fence. That's fine. We can get away with that one. I've got a nice big gap now going on. This is good. The Muir is getting involved in that fight back there. Points wise, is still looking quite good for us here. Just, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a knife edge if anything does uh, does happen. Oh, it can be a little bit of a knife edge, I would say. Oh, that was a terrible line through there. Clonked out all the street furniture. Got rid of the bloody <laughs> lamppost. Oh, God, the DS3 is right back there again. They're so That's the one corner I can't seem to carry their speed. I just can't get the speed. The rest of the track I'm not too bad at, but that one turn is where the uh, the other two is really, really struggling. The final quarter, I've got to try and pull a good margin again, like we have done before, and that little slide is it's not the worst, it's just that costing that little bit of time. The DS3 is closer than they have been before. One more time around, one more lap, we've got to try and fend off from, well, as many of the cars behind uh, as we possibly can. Turn one, try not to make too much of a mess of this one, at uh, which we do not. It's actually quite nicely done. That time, a little brush on the fence, the DS3 is just quicker through here. That's a little wide through. The DS3 is still looking, it's not quite got an overlap. I know where we're going to be vulnerable in this one. We've got to try... <laughs> okay, the Mira is up to... Mira is up to third, and the Mira has got... Um, has got that, got that little bit of a gap. We've got to try and get the car across here. We've got to try and fend off the inside. I'm trying. The DS3 just turns so much better. I'm going to go for a cutback on the exit. Hopefully, the all-wheel drive traction to the Golf is going to be enough. We try. I don't. Oh, so we got to accelerate it. We don't actually quite have the acceleration on the DS3 here as we run up the hill. The points are now really, really sketchy and close after everything that's gone on. I just don't quite have the grip. We get a good run around that final court. Again, we, the, the Volkswagen is really good at that final turn. It's not quite enough. We're not quite going to have done it. Oh, <laughs> DS3 put up a hell of a fight. That was a good race. That was a good battle. The DS3 just got the better of us in the end. I just couldn't move the car across. Ah, bugger. It looks like it might still just about be enough if we can get ninth, which we do. We will take the round. Oh, I'm slightly disappointed. I just couldn't quite defend well enough. That Citroen is bloody fast indeed. Up next, we head off-road a little bit worried. Multiple Gardens is not the nastiest of locations for cars not as suited to off-roading as the Ambleside Scramble, for example. I'm buried a fair way in the pack, and annoyingly the DS3, that's probably the biggest competition we have, starts on the front row. I guess it's only fair to give somebody a... We've, we've had quite nice starting points, and the Mira's actually starting up here as well, although that's not quite got the grip for these dirt races. We, we've got a lot of work to be doing here. Should still be able to get a good result, I would expect. My car is so far running very well indeed. I uh, hope maybe we can get a little bit of a little bit of revenge on that last race. The DS3 is very quick, there's no doubt about it. That DS3 has got some uh, some serious speed about it. Uh, what can we do while everyone is in ghostly ghostly mode? Oh, that's a bad time to act ghostly ghostly mode. While we're already committing to the corners, uh, the Subaru does give us some space, which is always nice from a teammate uh, when we've got some good speed in our own vehicle. The Mira is slipping and sliding around there. <laughs> down here. Now, I don't know who is going to... Oh, too much street furniture for me. I try not to be stuck behind the uh, Lamborghini because I know that's not going to like the water as much. Oh, the Regalia might actually be quite good through the water just because it's sheer size. Uh, it might not get slowed down as much, although it does not have the top end. The sheer size does make it quite heavy and that means it doesn't quite have the top end uh, down here. Uh, it's got good power, but it takes a long time to get up to its toxic. Ooh, a little bit of ghostly, laggy weirdness going on against the Lamborghini there. Uh, oh, there goes the Regalia up the inside. I'm going to cut back underneath both of them. That'll be uh, a third place for me. Thank you very much. Now, RS2. I know they're quite good. That was pretty early on the brakes. I could have had a big dive. I realised it would be quite so early on the brakes. I would have had a big dive at turn two or three, I guess, maybe technically speaking there. I'm not going to go around the outside because everything understeers and wanders wide through there. So we'll again go for that cutback. We'll duck underneath. We will move ourselves up to second place. This track is not working for blue team, I can tell you that much. Uh, oh, okay. Well, the RS2 had a look. I just didn't even think to cover. I thought I was clear. The RS2, was, it was a fair dive. Uh, it kind of got to the corner. Couldn't quite make anything stick, though. Uh, it's still roughly about there. We'll give it some space. Oh, bit of atmosphere through there. Have a bit of a lift. It's fine. Uh, the Regalia may well be able to move up to a second place. This is not gone how I expected it after that first race. Unless there was strange shenanigans for Blue Team, uh, this has gone, yeah, different to how we'd expect. The Regalia is all over the back of that uh, Audi looking for a way past. 
I mean, even if we are quicker than the DS3 out here, it wouldn't be by too much. Uh, I think it's too far gone anyway in the distance for me to really do much about it. We'll try our very best, of course. You never know, there could be a little mistake and that might be all it takes, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think we've pulled away from the from the regalia. That's good news. A little concerned about that car. I know the regalia can actually be quite fast. It gets some massive tires on that thing. It's part of the reason why it's so quick at the hill climb all those months and years ago now. Uh, it's just it's huge tires on that car can make it uh, pretty bloody fast. I guess my all-wheel drive might help me with the water section. That could be where the DS3 is struggling a smidge in, uh, in this race. We'll barrel into turn one with as much speed as we can muster. Uh, yes, that water section can cause issues for, for cars. I mean, if your car is bad through there, it's easy to lose probably, what, half a second, maybe even a second. It goes really bad in there and lap, and that's quite a big chunk of time. Uh, sometimes We haven't got any big SUVs in this to really capitalise. I'm on rally suspension in this vehicle. Uh, I mean, I built this car with the... I mean, it wasn't built specific as a rally car, but I built it with the, you know thought that it should score some good points off-road. And I figured if it scores good points off-road, it could work on the tarmac as well. And it is it's working overall. It's pretty damn good. Oh, we've got the Corvette up to third. Oh, no, the points. The points have gone wrong. Longbow, the massive regalia has had a problem. Can that score? I mean, if I could win this race, that would tip it in our favour. But otherwise, we need, we need two places on the final lap. It's all gone pear-shaped here. What's happened? Uh, well, we're going to go for my favourite slightly sneaky line. I mean... <laughs> If I can throw it up the inside of the DS3 off the water section, that would be glorious, but that might be what it's going to come to. We've definitely been catching this uh, this front-wheel drive machine here. Oh, uh, look at Mr. Checkpoint, but that's not going to do anything because the vehicle that Ford was already struggling. We needed another lap. We needed another lap to really be able to do anything here. Uh, we can try our best. We absolutely throw the car off the final corner. It's a drag race towards the finish line now. Are we quicker than the DS3? I thought we were, but I'm not sure. We needed one more lap. One more lap, and that DS3 would have been in trouble. One more lap, and Blue Team would have been in trouble. It's not quite going to be the case. Oh, <laughs> good race. Good race indeed. Yeah, we were flying towards the end of that one. Ah. Oh. Longbow, I don't say unlucky, I don't know what happened. Something happened to Longbow's regalia in that fight for, uh, for third place and ended up missing a checkpoint, I would presume. A uh, mistake of some description, and points have fallen away from us a little bit towards the end, sadly. Uh, Longbow might get eighth. Oh, we just need one more place, but we can't do it. <laughs> oh, it was close. It was a good, that was a good round. That was a good round for closeness in points, excitement, battles for me, chasing cars down. Well, the adventure's all tied up. So, for our deciding round, we have come to the Lake Hurst Cops circuit. Probably going to be good for our Lamborghini. I uh, would think, oh, God's sake. <laughs> the mirror's at the back. I'm um, in the middle. Uh, the, uh, well, the good news is the DS3 is also down towards the back. The Scirocco's kind of in the middle with me. Uh, the Corvette might actually work better uh, with, with this track. We're going to have to wait and see. Cars at the front, I'm not really. The cars at the front have not been quite as quick in, in previous circuits, so who knows where they're going to go. I'm hoping we can get a good start and bolt away. We know the R32 has been half decent when it comes to the top, and here comes that Corvette again. The Corvette's gonna, obviously got a lot of speed in that thing. Might not have much handling, but has got a lot of speed. That could come in really helpful around here. I'm happy to play rear gunners of the Corvette if need be. Oh, that's a really fun place to come out of ghost mode. Uh, oh, Corvette is really quite the handful. Oh, Longbow has cheesed their way through. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Subaru. It was uh, a little bit of too many cars into one place. Don't quite go uh, on that. That's a bit unfortunate. For, uh, the, the worst bit is it's a teammate that's got in trouble. Either way, we've got the Corvette to the lead of the race. The RS, if I can chase down that RS2, that would be wonderful. How much speed can we take through there? Quite a lot. Got a good amount of grip. Jag seems to have got the good top end, but not the grip to go with. All of that. Let's get this down the gears. Uh, I mean, if we could... Hell, if we if you can get a 1, 2, 3, your team is guaranteed a win regardless. And I do think Regalia and my Golf are faster than that RS2. The, cor the Corvette's got loads of straight-line speed, but it's horrific in the corners. If there's a circuit where that's going to work, it's probably going to be this one of the tracks that we've driven so far. 
Uh, the Scirocco is up to sixth. The ah, uh, the DS3 has not had a good start. That's still marred down in ninth place. I mean, that's good news for for us in terms of uh, uh, points. Oh, Longbow, make the corner with the longest of cards. <laughs> just <laughs> oh, the Regalia just makes the turn. Right, okay, it's stayed, importantly, it stayed ahead of that Scirocco. The Lamborghini's coming to join in, which is good news for us in terms of points. We've got two cars really struggling here, but the rest of our cars are at least doing well. This might go down to the bloody wire at the rate we're going. We've got, we've got, okay, we've got, we've got an okay, we've got a decent amount of points say, in the bank. Uh, we can't really afford any mistakes here. That means me playing with the rocks. That would be bad. The RS2 clips a rock on the outside there. Uh, the Corvette looks absolutely horrible in these corners, but it's got so much straight line speed it can just about make up the lap time, which is the important thing here. Uh, we will jump down that little section. Okay, well, nicely does it for the Golf. Are we quicker than the RS2 down the straight? I don't actually know if we are or not, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, yes. I mean, there could be a more straightforward pass if we can do that down the straight. The Scirocco is also on the move. We know that's a fearsome car. We have got more straight line speed than the RS2. This Golf shifts. It's not by much, though. It's not by much. Is the RS2 going to cover the inside? Yes, wisely does. Uh, oh, I was hoping to try and duck back underneath it. This is the problem thing. If we get ensnared fighting with the RS2, I don't want the Scirocco to suddenly sneak past. It's a little bit of a... Well, it's a little bit of a dive. The Scirocco's followed through. Oh, what's gone on further back? Oh, things have gone wrong. Things have gone wrong for Red Team. It's all fallen apart. I mean, Longbow's struggled a little bit. I don't know what happened to the mirror. Things have gone on further back. And we very much had to make that pass stick then. There. Oh, God, it's going to be a close one, this. We're going to have to get a 1-2. There's now no question about it. We have to get a 1-2, and we have to hope that something else is going to give further back, that someone else can gain some places further back. We only need one place at the moment. This is relying on me fending off from that Scirocco for the remainder of this race, and the Scirocco really wants to have a go at the inside, which there was just about a gap there for it. It's going to put us on the outside through here, although the Scirocco is going to be uh, the going to be a little bit pinched, but not quite enough. Come on, R32. You're supposed to have... We have more acceleration, but the Scirocco's got great top speed. I think maybe the aero on that car is good. Can we have a dive at turn one? The problem is I'm not good enough in the corners to have a dive at turn one. Really. I have to hope that the Scirocco makes a mistake, which it does, and actually gets through turn one really, really well. The DS3 is on the march. We need... something. We need a miracle. We need... well, it's gonna... <laughs> it falls really to Stallion maybe being able to make up a position somewhere with that Mura. And Stallion has got one. Oh, this now relies on me fending off the DS3 for the rest of the lap, and I know how bloody quick that car is in these corners. Oh, it could go either way, this. It really, really could. Fifth gear, I think, is wanted through there. I cannot let that DS3 get past. We cannot leave any spaces for the DS3. I don't think I'm going to have much of a choice to run the car in super deep through there. The DS3 is going to want to get past. It's going to have to do it the tough way. We're not leaving that gap on the inside like we did against the Scirocco here. Uh, we've got one more corner to go, and then it's just a drag race to the line. The Corvette is going to fend off from the Scirocco. The DS3 is literally on the bumper up towards the finish line. Come on, R32. You can do it. We can claim third. We will claim third place. <laughs> That's a stressful, bloody race, that one. The Scirocco was actually the quickest of all of us in there. It just ran out of time to pass the Corvette. We will get third. The Regalia climbed to fifth, and Stallion ended up sixth uh, with that Mura, and that scored us enough points. Oh, the recovery. It was looking really strong for us for quite a while, and things went a little bit wrong, and Lombo and Stallion did a fantastic job of climbing back up, clawing back them points to uh, get us enough just to take the the victory overall. What an adventure. What a fact that's a fantastic team adventure, that one. Uh, I like my, my golf. You know, that Volkswagen was good. Uh, some tracks... Well, I say all the tracks, it was right up there. Maybe not the very, very fastest car. Maybe, maybe Amble side, but uh, elsewhere. Uh, the off-road, it, it, it was good. No, no. The R32, 
very, very solid B-Class car in, in this one. I had some really, really fun racing. That, though, is going to be it uh, for this team adventure. If you'd like to sign up and take part in the next one, you can via our Discord. Uh, there'll be a link to that in the description of this video. Now, find the Versus Community sign-up section, and uh, you'll be able to sign up in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.